you are already cracking me up. I already said, Jeff Dye's cracking me up this morning, and none of the comedians Lucas brought, brings in here make me laugh. <laughs> Holy, hello, Montana. How's everybody doing? Good to see you. I did be on the radio there with my poop master, Lucas Seeley. <laughs> there you go. It's Jeff Dye from Last Comic Standing, Comedy Central. Uh, you might have met him before. I don't Holy know. Billings. Do you remember when you were here before? I remember, and then people got real mad because I made fun of homeless people. You did. And then, <laughs> ever, and then everyone called in, oh, we're bleeding hearts. We're real sad. We have opinions. And I said, please, just love. Mm-hmm. I remember that. And I you had that foreign guy. <laughs> Pavel. Oh, Pavel. Yeah. Guy here named All right, Pavel I'm Pavel. Who, re- who has died in the last few years, and we want to say rest in peace, Pavel. Rest in peace. He was doing, I remember he did Wendy's ads. He would read my Wendy's weather sponsorship, and he'd like, they have a burger at the Wendy. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Pavel, and I'm awesome. That's great. This is a very exciting show, because you have... Any Eddie Zanadaki. I can't get the Zanadonkers off. McLovin's like, why would they put that on the thing if that's not his real name? Yeah, I'm like, it's Lucas. Yeah, gonna... <laughs> it's Lucas. But Eddie, you, you've you been to town before as well. I just saw you like a month ago here. Yeah, uh, yeah I dropped in. I was just uh, doing some shows through here and then I you know, thought I'd come in and say hi. Yeah. And then uh, it's nice. like a second home to me here, you know? It's cool. It's a place that calls me Zanadonkers. That's great. That's awesome. <laughs> it's, it's nice to have you here. Last that's night. funny that McLovin actually put that on there. I know. On the, on the official sheet of information, Eddie Zanadonkers is on here. <laughs> And uh, Jeff Dye, obviously, you've been to town before, but that was years and years Long ago. Long time was... ago, before anyone gave a crap who I, I was. I know, that's way before you yeah. were a huge comedy superstar. That's right, ladies. You God's heard gift it. to huge comedy, comedy star. and women. That's right. Yes, ladies. Are Come you on. really all about the ladies in Billings? Like, are you going to make this happen? I'm going to make it happen. I'm I know gonna, in L.A. I'm going to meet at least one pretty lady to get married and have kids with here in Billings this week. The, 30, the 35th <laughs> caller gets to have my babies and meet me and marry me. That's it. They have to call. They have to call twice. And you get an Iron Man two poster, and you get an autograph from Big J. Yeah, Big J. Not that big in real life, by I the pre- way. He's I very thin that. now, and he's appreciate not that, that tall. I don't know why they call him Big J. How tall are you? You were I'm asking six, me. Four, you were six, grilling nine with me. Heels. You were grilling me on my height over here, and we yeah, and you're in chucks today, so you're yes, sir. You're Those are flats. I don't wear wedges or uh, stilettos when I'm on the radio. I like it. No need. It's a good rule. How is uh, how awesome is it to go from being I mean, all of you guys, like I've talked to Lucas about it before, and he just cries because he's so happy, but to go from being like a comedy groundling, not like an actual groundling improver, but I mean like at the very bottom of comedy, like work in these small clubs to get to be to the point where people like oh, bring you geez. places Let and want to see you. It's a treat. It's real nice, you know, being... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a thing, you know what I'm saying? He's so excited. Uh, going from the ground to the top, you know what I'm saying? It's, uh, it's all about, the but drugs are cheaper, I'll tell you that. That's The thing is, the drugs are cheaper. <laughs> and it's got to be cool, though, to not have to go in and like prove yourself. Like You're going to walk into the club tonight, and people are already going to be laughing That's and excited to see you. That's should be. That's right. Yeah. You should go out and have a good time in stand-up comedy, you know what I'm saying? I don't like when people sit there like, yeah, make me laugh, jerk. You know what I'm exactly. saying? They're crossed arms, acting like jerk faces. They should no be matter who it is, you should just be out to have a good time. Exactly. Like in the old days, they used to do that. They'd be like, ah, this guy smashed a watermelon. He's a genius. And they laughed. <laughs> they didn't care if it made no sense. They just laughed. He's still on the road. Both of them are still yeah. on the road. Both I think. Gallagher's. Yeah, exactly. yeah, his brother. <laughs> so, That's like, funny, Jay. You have a sweet apartment, by the way. Just want to say from creeping on your Facebook page. Oh, Isn't it no. weird that I know everything about your life? Hey, that's how Facebook works. And this is going to be the only like moment. I don't often do this. Did he leave that little creeper fella? He, uh, I always give him crap because he's such a wrestling fan, so I'm kind of oh, glad yeah. he's gone. Yeah. And you're a wrestling I'm fan. a huge wrestling fan. I don't want to tell him because that would like validate his interest. You'd be I'm, like, Jeff's good to, looking. I hope to someday be on uh, in WWE. That's one of my goals. Just for like an appearance or like yeah, you're going to get out of comedy? I don't want to be on it too long. I just want to like do, like, I'm hopefully to get famous enough that where they'd let me do like a thing. <laughs> like a guest yeah, spot. Yeah, because it's not like I'm like strong Snooki. or anything. So not, <laughs> yeah, exactly, like Snooki. You, you want to be like that. She's got a bad finishing move, by the way. I saw her finishing move. Not impressive. <laughs> That's what happens when you Jeff go Jeff practices to, finishing no moves. Vertical. Yeah, I'm going to be, I'm going to, I'm going to, it's going to be big. It's going to be awesome. What else is going on in your career? Obviously tonight, tomorrow night, out at Manny's. People should definitely check that out. Tickets are still available at laughstub.com, but... What's going on other than that? I have a show coming out on MTV called Money from Strangers. I had a show coming out on MTV called uh, Numb Nuts. That was the name of it. Th- this is another McLovin story. We were talking about that again or on this sheet here. He gives me a thing that says Numb Nuts on MTV yeah, spring of 2010. It, it might never be on TV unless, here's what happened. If, that sh- if my new show comes out and is a hit, they'll probably put that show on yeah. where I look a lot younger 
uh, and have longer hair. What happened with that show, just in case uh, people of Billings are like, when is Num Nuts going to be on TV? <laughs> they are. They're texting Ashton like crazy. Ashton Kutcher created the show Num Nuts. And then uh, MTV was like, well, you got to change this. And Ashton's like, I don't want to change this. We shot 12 episodes. Mm-hmm. And MTV's like, change this. Ashton's like, we don't need to change this. And he's like, I don't even care if the show goes on TV. And MTV's like, we don't care if the show goes on either. And then I'm like, hey, we should put this show on TV. <laughs> There's one guy here that cares. Yeah. yeah. So anyways, I don't think it'll ever be on TV. I don't know what happened. It I told t- everybody. I about heard about it. Yeah, I know all about it. I was it's pumped for going it. On TV, I know how that so goes. Who needs it? I got one of those in the works right now. It's <laughs> so. even more sad when you have a show that can't get on TV in billing. So I know how you feel. <laughs> well, when you but. find out that your pilot got picked up, you start telling everybody, "Hey, my yeah. show's getting been there. put on old been there, done that. television picture box." Um, did you hear that Ashton's the uh, replacement for Charlie Sheen? That's the the rumor. But he he tweeted if he's tweeting. He, no, here's the thing. He might be on that show, but you think young, handsome millionaire Ashton Kutcher is going to play the same role as? Old, angry, rich Charlie Sheen? Probably not. <laughs> I think they're McLovin. No, he's like super. Come explain how it's gonna work, McLovin. Good. So everybody's they'll, gonna. They'll send. They'll send uh, Charlie Sheen's character off to rehab. Good. And then Ashton Kutcher's character will come in, and Good. they'll like live at Ashton's house or something. Or yeah, well, that's Good. not replacing. That's just. But, he but got maybe the he'll role. be. Maybe he'll be all troubled and stuff too. Well, ju- but, I would like to say I didn't watch the show before, and I will continue I'm in the my same streak. Boat. They're, uh, they're actually Cal Ripken like I've seen not ten, watching the show. I've seen ten episodes ever, so it's like he I'm not keeps, like a fan. He keeps track. About I'm not. He's a tally well, mark. Ashton. Ashton. Are you so excited about McLovin? I love Ashton. Oh, jeez. He does. Oh, actually, look at that hair. Kids. Since the characters are changing and he's not really like Charlie Sheen, they're going to retitle the show Numb Nuts. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the show's going to be called <laughs> Two and a Half Numb Nuts. <laughs> it's finally coming. So wait, what's this new show on MTV? The new the one, show's called, is this uh, one going to be on? Yes, for sure. This okay. one will be huge. Uh, I'd be very famous, and then next time I come to Billings, girls will be girls and men will be throwing themselves at me. You're at the point where girls throw <laughs> yeah. themselves, and you got to get to where I'll girls and both. men. Both. That's yeah. what I need. <laughs> need married women. Uh, it's called it, TRL. It's just me messing with people. That's all it is. Like I go out and I just like mess with people. Uh, but I put an earpiece in people, mm-hmm. and then I hide in a van and tell them what to say. And if they tell, if they say everything I tell them to say, they win money. Oh, that's cool. So yeah. it's like always that thing where, like, we do to McLovin, like, we'll make him say, when we get stupid interviews on the show we don't want to do, we'll have him interview him and we'll make him say stuff to him. <laughs> yeah. That's stupid. <clears throat> No, that's McLovin, really funny. You know I actually saw the pilot about. for it. It was freaking hilarious. Yeah, it's a that's good time because awesome. I, I don't know. It can go on forever if we wanted. Like, if it gets really big, I'm just going to be hiding in a van. Nobody's going to recognize a stranger. You know what I'm saying? Something He's like, used to hiding in a van, too. I know. He's just like, just in a van right. every day, and somebody's like, we should do a TV show about this. <laughs> that's right. That's how it works <laughs> every morning. So what, and it, uh, it's just you, like you're the host, I mean you're the, the guy? guy. Yeah, we uh, we made it. So. Who's producing it? Anybody famous or is uh, it just an MTV his thing? His name's Rob Anderson, he did Crank Anchors and the Andy Milanakis oh, show and That's all huge. That. If yeah. you can make Andy Milanakis a star, that's no right. offense if that's your stepbrother or something. He's good with people, yeah. yeah. There you go. I'm very excited about the shows out at Manny's. Anything uh, you want to tell people other than you're going to find a lady, so ladies definitely need That's to be there. That's right. You tell the people of Billings to come to the shows. No lady Manny's. in your life right now? No, I'm completely single. God, you've been doing so well. Because I remember yeah. I met you, and then I remember one day I was listening to Howard Stern, and your ex was on the show, and well, they mentioned you. she was my girlfriend you. at the time Yeah, while she, she was, was on that. She was, yeah, your girlfriend then, your ex that now. That Howard Stern, I've been on there before, and I don't like the way they talk. They're real smart mouths. You've actually been on the show? Yeah. I love it. That at Howard Stern show, they, uh, she said that my ex girlfriend said that she dated Ryan Seacrest. They went on two dates, and then if you go on the internet, it's like Ryan Seacrest and my ex girlfriend, I'm not gonna say her name, they dated for two and a half years on and off. It's not true. Yeah, two and, and a half dates, anger. not two yeah, and a half two years. Days, and it's off and on my butt. Yeah. I didn't like That's it. That's cool, though. That's good for you. Like, if I, I would date any girl. Like, I don't care if she's 400 pounds with, like, a single leg and no teeth. Like, if she dated Ryan Seacrest at some point, I'm going to tap that just you so I could say. that's not true, people. Listen, this guy is not going to date no girl 400 pounds with one tooth. I'm looking for Ryan Seacrest. Your sloppy book. seconds. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. <laughs> Jeff Dye, he's a very, very, very funny guy. You could check him out live. Not just like this, but like you can see him and touch him. He encourages right. touching. Come to the shows or we're going to just say racial slurs on this radio station over and over and over until you come. So, yeah, we don't want you to go back to what we normally do with just the racial slurs over and over. That's right. Trying to switch it up. Check out Jeff Dye and uh, Eddie Zanadonkers. Or yeah. Zanadaki. Tonight and tomorrow night at Manny's. Tickets are available at laughstub.com. 
Radio.com. And right now, we're going to hook somebody up with a VIP table for four for tonight. The 500th caller wins a VIP table for four. There the you go. 500th caller. 238 We're going to try to get to 500. We might just take nine. Who knows? But we'll go for 500 there. Jeff Dye, caller. you're a very, very funny man. Thank you so much for coming up. And, uh, Thanks please, for having me. I love please, you, and you look great. I want to say, by the way, use protection. There's been uh, six new cases of HIV in the past month in Billings. Listen, I, really? all yeah. this is just jokes ah. around. I don't, I'm a virgin, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mess with it. I don't like it. Jeff Dye, <laughs> give it away free <laughs> tickets right now to see uh, Jeff Dye out of Manny's. Who is this? This is Terry. Terry, how are you? Thanks. Hey there, Terry. You sound like a real peach. <laughs> That's Jeff. That's Jeff. You want to go watch Jeff do some comedy tonight, tomorrow night? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell Terry, yeah. I love your face. <laughs> there you go. Terry, we're going to hook you up with a VIP table for four to check out the show tonight at uh, Manny's. So it's going to be good. And uh, Jeff, are you excited to see her? Terry, are you driving right now? What are you doing there, lady? Yeah, I'm driving. Oh, jeez, that's against the law, you crazy biscuit. I, I get it on speakerphone. It's worth it. It's all worth it for your free tickets. Well, Terry, congratulations. Thanks. You are welcome. Yeah, funny, there you go. Good. Jeff's checking out Creeper Corner now. Terry's got her tickets. He was <laughs> creeping there, and now Jeff's checking out Creeper Corner. Creeper Corner fascinates people. <laughs> He's <laughs> just going through, just going down the list. If you want to hear the official Jeff Die commentary on Creeper Corner, make sure to check him out at Manny's tonight. Jeff, what do you think of that? You enjoy that? He's like, who is? Who are those people? I'm like, those are just local Every rapers. Every person that has raped someone looks like someone who had raped someone. <laughs> you know, we have that's our town motto is like Billings, where our rapists are stereotypical. It's true. Yeah. If you like, you were like, listen, sir, you look like a rapist. You're probably right. Yeah. <laughs> Only in Billing. You need to move here, man. You would just, it'd be gold. It's insane. You could go on characters. the road forever. Oh, look very look, angry. One more quick qu comedy question while you're in here. Who do you like right now? Who's hot in comedy? Um, well, what's her name? Uh, Lisa Woodward is very popular. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> How about outside? I mean, like, what about like on Comedy Central or on, oh, uh, on a network? Well, obviously, Daniel Tosh is blowing up. Oh, Love and Tosh. He's coming to Billings. I don't Good think anybody's night. announced that, but oh, he's coming you want to town. Him on the radio, we'll he's coming on tonight. Here. Actually, now we're talking. We'll he's playing opposite you. No, I'm kidding. No, it's like better my not be. I look at your face. Yeah, I got real scared. I'm gonna call that son of a. Oh, jeez, because I know Daniel's racist, and these people love the racism over <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, exactly. They do. All my audience. There's gonna be like cowboys there. Like, I don't like comedy. Yeah, make fun of the Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? I don't need all. That. You gotta just tell him that I don't like That's comedy. Right. He's racist. I'll be there. I'll Sign be me up. up. Check it out. Yeah. If he makes fun of those, you know what? So Tosh is <laughs> Tosh is good. You like Tosh? I just Daniel like to Tosh, see who people I'm like. A big fan of him. Uh, Harlan Williams. You, you know like that Harlan? Character? Yeah. We, he is a character. That's for sure. Yes, He's got he a look. Is. Got a just personality. Off. I hit the cough button to burp. Thank you. And then uh, who else? At Norm McDonald's blowing up now with his sports show. Mm -hmm. uh, I like all those guys. He was trying to be the uh, Affleck duck, and I'm kind of I'm kind of sad he didn't get it. No, he was just auditioning for it. Well, yeah. Well, I auditioned for that thing too. Did you? Well, it's funny so did, that so uh, did Chad Corp. <laughs> Norm, uh, yeah, but he probably tried to sound like Gilbert Godfrey. That's not what they want. That's they want. what got it. Did you hear the guy that got it? Oh, he sounds like sounds him? like a cheap knockoff. Of, well, well, he's not gonna be able to hear. Do you have headphones, or did you take all the headphones oh, out of here, McLemon? Right Put those I headphones on. Oh, topic. never mind. I deleted that. Sorry, I took oh, it out of the geez. system. Oh, gee, I put headphones on I for know. nothing. And those headphones are going to give you the seventh case of HIV in oh, Billings this great. month. Oh, great. I so. didn't even talk to a lady, and I already have HIV. There you go. Check it out. Jeff died tonight and tomorrow night out at uh, Manny's. It's going to be very good. And now from uh, Jeff going out to Terry, the lady that won, little Mike Posner, little Wayne Bachica, wow, wow, on hot. The Big J Show. Weekday mornings from 6 till 10 on Billings' number one hit music station, Hot 101.9. Nine.